honorable is commonly used to many by many rather to refer to most politicians in Ghana but have you ever wondered why they are called honorable members well let's go out and find out what really it means to be called an honorable member the definition of an honorable person suggests someone who believes in truth does the right thing and tries to live up to high principles. In many democratic countries, the term honorable is used for MPs or legislators, presidents, vice presidents and ministers of state. But here in Ghana, what do we see? So many people are called honorables. So we ask, who is entitled to be called an honorable? The Commonwealth is referred to mostly to uh, elective positions and people that have climbed the ladder to the highest office of some institutions that are called honorable. And so that is where it begins from. That is why we expect nothing but honor from people who are called honorable. Whatever you are, whoever you are, wherever you are, when you are given that position of honor, you have to change to behave like an honorable person. In Ghana, unit committee members, assembly members, metropolitan, municipal and district chief executives, MPs, ministers, as well as some public officers are obsessed with the title. But are all these category of people entitled to it? Those are junior parliaments. In fact, if we had a federal, federal system, they would have been called maybe state parliaments and once they are also elected they also have the right to call themselves honorable they are elected by the members of the assembly i have everything uh, against calling ministers who are not members of parliament honorable because they are just presidential appointees they are not elected. Municipal Chief Executive of Adenta, Daniel Nidumwa, said honorable only reminds him to be honest and transparent. It is a title you carry because you hold an office. It is not to me as a person because I'm responsible for some resources, both human, financial, and natural resources. Second Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagbin, says the use of the title has been abused and wished MPs would reconsider being referred to as such. It's gone beyond the perimeters of those who are called honorables. And I think that uh, now it, it doesn't carry any value anyway. So as members of Parliament from time to time discuss it in enclaves that all. Why use the term honorable? Let's just drop it and use either you are a doctor, you are a professor, you are a mister, you are a missus, you are a miss. Just use them and at the end, MP. That, that is sufficient. You don't need to be hanging on your neck some title called honorable when even in your, your behavior and everything, you don't show it that you are honorable. Some have argued that a title must come with bigger responsibilities. Because you are supposed to be a mediator that's between the public and the government. So you should always make sure that you, you, you appeal to the senses of the people. You get closer to understand what their grievances and then how you address it to the government to be addressed. Some of the responsibilities are, um, let's say you should, you should create some kind of respect that the youth can look up to. You shouldn't just behave anyhow in terms of your speech, your conduct, and even the words you should use, and even how you behave in public, and how you even relate with your subordinates and your community folks. We have to make sure that you are always there for people. Like when you see them in need, an honorable person doesn't see people in need and just walk past by. In every where you find yourself, you look at for how you can help somebody to be a better person. In recent times, there have been concerns about the conduct of some persons using the title. We sought the views from the public. An honorable is a title given to um, a minister or someone of authority. When you talk about honorable, there are two people people look at. And it's either an assemblyman 
or a member of parliament? Honourable is just a title given to people who are popularly known or well respected. It's not just a name given to any or like specific people, but then if you are an MP, if you are a CEO, if you are a big personality in the country. An honourable should live well in terms of every aspect of their life. We have to see something exemplary about them that those who are looking up to them can copy. When they are given responsibilities, they, they, they honor their responsibility, they do it their best, you know, to keep themselves within the rules and regulations set by society. An honorable person should be honest. That is why the title honorable is there. You have to be truthful to the people you are serving. Someone with integrity. He has to be honest at all times and not just make himself big, but all those around him big as well. So the next time you hear someone being referred to as honorable, check whether he or she has been elected, makes laws, or has the guts and basic knowledge of all things. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Accra.